Here's the Chapel Life Moment with Pastor Tim. Before you ever do a remodeling project, you need to have a plan. You don't start the demo before you know the end goal. It's the same way in our marriages. If you're going to remodel your relationships, you need a blueprint. The scripture gives us the plan for your marriage. It's found in the book of Proverbs. By wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Now, this isn't talking about how to be rich. It's talking about how to be rich in your relationships. Break these words apart to read the blueprint. First word, wisdom. The idea behind wisdom isn't having a Yoda-like insight into your marriage. It's more about applying what you already know. Being wise is practicing learned knowledge. That's the key. The concept builds onto the second word, the word understanding. What don't you know about your spouse? Someone once told me, wake up every day asking that question. What don't you know about her? What don't you know about him? Do you know how they think, why they do what they do, what causes them to be afraid, what makes them happy or sad? Marriage is a journey of learning. Wisdom, understanding, last word, knowledge. Think about it. We go to school to get knowledge. Our jobs require knowledge. We read, Google, listen for knowledge. It's the same in our marriages. But knowledge is more than data. God's concept of knowledge is about insight. That's the fusion of wisdom and understanding together. It's the greatest challenge in our relationships. Marriage breaks down when we stop seeking insight about our spouse. What do you need to know about them today to make your relationship insight better? Put it into practice. Be wise, understanding, and knowledge. That's how your house is built. That's God's blueprint for your marriage, and that's your Chapel Life moment. This has been a Chapel Life Moment with Pastor Tim.